Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another day of readings. Um, I'm going to share my screen now. So this is um, excerpt seven. And the master we're looking at today is Sir Edward Byrne Jones. The painting we will be looking at is Chant d'Amour or The Love Song. And this is what it looks like. And a song without words, it seems to be, and directed by the lady player to the youth at her right. Sir Edward Byrne Jones, English pre Raphaelite school, born 1833 and lived till 1898, pupil of Rossetti. This artist has been called the most original of all contemporaneous artists. He has also been called the lyric painter, meaning that he is to painting what the lyric poet is to literature. His work, once known, can almost always be recognized wherever seen afterward. He did not slavishly follow the pre-Raphaelite school, yet he drew most of his ideas from its methods. He was, in the use of stiff lines, a follower of Botticelli, and not original in that detail, as some have seemed to think. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the plate. Chant d'amour or the love song. Here, the love song by Burne Jones. A song without words, it seems to be, and directed by the lady player to the youth at her right. This is a picture in the true Burne Jones style, a beautiful woman in billowy draperies playing upon a harp, forms the central picture of the group of three, a listener on either side of her. There is the attractiveness of the Burne Jones method about this picture. But after all, there seems to be no very good reason for its having been painted. The subject thus treated has only a negative value and little suggestion of thought or dramatic idea. Another picture of this artist in which his use of stiff draperies is specially shown is that of the women at the tomb of Christ when they find the stone rolled away and looking around, see the savior's figure before him. The scene is low and cavern-like with a brilliant light surrounding the tomb. This artist also painted the Vestal Virgin, King Copetua and the Beggar Maid. Pan and Psyche, the Golden Stairs, and Love Among the Ruins. Thank you very much for joining me today for another night of readings. Um, I hope you join me another time. Goodbye.